This is Twit. Face recognition under the gun. San Francisco has now passed a city ordinance banning face recognition tech. On Tuesday, the Board of Supervisors passed the Stop Secret Surveillance Ordinance. Oh, I love living in the Bay Area. Uh, but I, I actually am thrilled about this because, as we know, well, here's, here's what uh, Supervisor Aaron Peskin said, the, the sponsor. I want to be clear, this is not an anti-technology policy. It's an accountability measure to ensure safe and responsible use of surveillance tech. And it passed by eight to one. Uh, and, and clearly, we're starting to see the, the, the flaws in face recognition. And I'll give you a really great example from Vice this week. So when the police department interviews you and says, well, the guy who did it, what did he look like? If you say, well, kind of looked like Woody Harrelson, they'll take a picture of Woody Harrelson and feed it to the face recognition technology. Law enforcement, this is a, a great piece in Vice, is identifying suspects based on all manner of probe photos, photos of unknown individuals submitted for search against a police or driver's license database, license database uh, including celebrities. Harrelson's photo, in this case, returned. <laughs> so a guy was caught, was caught on camera stealing beer from a CVS in New York City. Uh, the surveillance footage was so low quality, they didn't get any suspects. No hits on the NYPD face recognition system. So the detective swapped in Woody Harrelson saying, well, he looks kind of like Woody. And yes, they got a lot of hits, including the guy who did it. Now, you tell me, if I'm Woody Harrelson, <laughs> I'm going to be a little insulted. He looks more like Colonel Sanders than Woody Harrelson. Looks like a Klingon without the forehead appliance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the NYPD also fed an image of an unnamed New York Knicks player to find a Brooklyn man wanted for assault. Um, <laughs> I just, I think this is not ideal, can, can we say? And so I kind of think that maybe San Francisco did the right thing. What do you think? And yeah, also, I, th I think it's creepy. I, I'm ready to invest in fake noses and sunglasses. So, our uh, I've mentioned this before. Our our founding engineer, Colleen, who now works for Facebook, right? She went to the dark side. Had mm. a plan to build an LED collar uh, with infrared LEDs that were so bright they would blind cameras, so you just look like a glowing ball on camera. See if see if Carson can look this up real quick. But there's a shirt that has a T-shirt that that's being sold. Oh yeah, that that'll yeah. trick him. You, yeah, you maybe talked about it. Uh, no, no, but it, I remember reading it. Yeah, yeah, so it's got some sort of a graphic on it that will fool the 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 cameras to be like, well, this is not a person. Yeah, forget about the. This is not going to solve the facial recognition thing. But yeah, there's a, a shirt out there to if you're in a, a crowd in a protest. In theory, it's the Hyperface yeah. Anti Paparazzi Collection. Actually, that's different. This is glowing. Yeah, because that's for the. That's only if it flashes. Yeah, uh, like that's for the flash is... of the cameras, and then it 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 it's reflective, so it reflects back. Sounds like a brilliant idea. That's a great idea. This is Hyperface, uh, which apparently, if you wear this and on a T-shirt, this 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 image, the uh, you don't have to wear it on your face. You wear it on a T-shirt, and the cameras go. Hey, blah, blah, blah. But on the other hand, this is being designed by an artist, so I'm nervous about the whole thing. Yeah, and how many software updates until the cameras just get smart enough to get around that? Right, I mean, yeah. it's, it's, it's yeah. immediately been borked. <laughs> mm -hmm. Still, I like the idea. The other problem is if you're a person of color, if you're African-American, there's a much higher incidence of false positives, mostly because this stuff's trained on white folk. So right. that's, not, that's not a good thing. And also... If correct me if I'm wrong, but all this law said was that the city cannot use this technology. There's no this doesn't say that any grocery store or or private home or whatever cannot use this technology. Yeah, I don't think they can even stop you. 
right? Or maybe right, the, right, I guess right. they could. It's, pass it's not like uh, well, in theory, you could say something stops at the borders of our municipality, yeah, but that's hard to do. Yeah, no, the ordinance uh, says that city departments have to seek specific approval before acquiring any new surveillance equipment, and private companies are not affected. Although, if you wanted to sell tech to the city government of this kind, you would be, but but not if you're a CVS store that wants to have it in there. Actually, you know, there's some very beneficial uh, uses of face recognition. Uh, who was the artist who had a problem with stalkers and she used face recognition to... Who was it? Richard... Huh? It was Tay-Tay. Tay-Tay. Taylor Swift. That's right. And so they used face recognition at the concert entrances to look for bad guys we know other stadiums have used it to ban people who are known disruptors or problems. On the other well, hand, if, the, if you get a false positive and you can't go to the Tay Tay show, that sucks. Well, the, the classic positive use of it is that they always trot out is if you've lost a kid in Disney World. There you go. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah, I saw a demo at uh, Qualcomm's AI Day a few weeks back where they were, you know, showing you an interpreted form of what the AI sees when the camera looks at you in, say, a retail storefront situation. And, I, you know, it's meant to do the catch shoplifters thing. Right. But in the demo was calibrated to detect whether, you know, to try and guess your apparent gender, uh, uh, you know, and also your age. So I spent, I wasted probably 35 minutes just trying to, trying various pouts and smiles to get it to go from adult person to young person. And did it? And I was able to fool, yeah, I fooled, yeah. fooled it about three or four times. Well, I'm I'm, right to, now I'm trying to guess how old you are. I can't figure it out. Yeah, it's uh, too, too fuzzy. I got some Vaseline <laughs> on the lens. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, these we've seen so many examples of these things making horrible mistakes. Somebody in the chat room is saying, it wasn't so long ago, a, a Google AI thought a turtle was a gun. <laughs> <laughs> you know, right. You know. So, and I, honestly, let's think about this use case in Disneyland. So what is it doing? Looking at everybody at Disneyland to see if they're the lost kid? Yeah, yeah I mean, they again. They would find the person that took the child, but your child's still gone. This is better for finding someone that well, you no, know no, no, that no. you are a, looking for. It's not for. A, a, a stranger danger abduction. It's just the kid got lost. Right. It could be either or, though. Oh, Wow. Yeah, what what I'm saying is, is like, again, I don't know. I'm That's just the thing that they trot out all the time. I like feel that's, like... <laughs> any human could walk into a crowd and see a kid wandering going, where's my mommy? I mean, that. how hard is that? Yeah. And you do a better Odds job are, probably. That than would a, exactly than happen machine. faster than it would to yeah. get the cameras yeah. and then, you know, deal with all the data and then find them that way. I, uh, I, I'm i ashamed to admit I'm a terrible parent. I lost my daughter at Legoland. Uh, but I got somebody who's better and she graduated from college. So I feel like it was... <laughs> It was it, it was truly terrifying. I was there with my son and daughter. Thank God my wife wasn't there at the time. She would she would have killed me. She never she's hearing about it for the first time now. Uh, oh, goodness. And, and uh, <laughs> I'm with Henry and where's Abby? Where's Abby? And we you know I went immediately like to the entrance to block whoever stole her from getting out, which is stupid. But she found us and she was not happy. She said I was shopping. <laughs> she was like eight. I was in the store looking at Lego. My my child did the same thing, but he was purposely hiding. So he heard yeah. us calling his name, and he thought it was brilliantly funny that we would never find him. Oh, and I thought the flash of, like, strangling him or hugging him came to me in that moment oh, yeah. when we finally got him. It was, like, oh, yeah. 30 minutes. You're, you're so torn because you're so grateful at the same time so and furious. So angry. <laughs> when he said I was hiding, I was grateful until he said, no, 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 I was hiding. Oh. I heard. Guys, and I chose to hide better. 